Hi, and welcome to this tuto tutorial on an assignment's status within Google Classroom. So what you see here on the screen right now is the teacher view of a homepage for Google Classroom. And the first place I'm going to take you on a tour is the to review option in your upper left hand corner from the home page. So when I click that link, it will open up all the things that need to be done in all of my classes. So you can see here the filter is set to all of my classes. So right now I have three assignments and you can see it's a single classroom, which is different from all the orange icons. So the blue is, a, is one classroom, the orange is a separate classroom. And you can see that with the classroom, with the blue icons, nothing has been completed yet. So all good there. However, if you look at my orange icons, this is a course that is in progress right now. You can see that I have 11 submitted assignments, um, 28 unsubmitted assignments, and zero graded. So what does that all mean? It means that I have 11 assignments to grade, and I can anticipate 28 more assignments coming in at some point to be graded. So um, here, for instance, you can see that there are three that have been turned in recently nine still to be completed, and 27 that have already been graded and returned. So I don't have to always look at um, all classes. So if I just filter to the class that's currently in progress, I can just look at that single course and the status of every assignment. And in um, a previous tutorial, I did mention, and it's worth mentioning again, that all of these are hyperlinks that will bring me right to that assignment. So let me go back to the to review window. Um, here there's some more information. There's, you can hide things that have no due date. Um, you can take a look at um, in progress work, you can look at reviewed, to review, all right. This information I accessed through the to review from the home page. You can also access this information from the stream tab of any of your Google Classrooms. So in the upcoming window, you can select the view all option and it brings me back to that specific assignment but again I can always filter it in any way I would like so this again this is the teacher view when looking at the status of assignments for your classroom now again all of these assignments were assigned in the classwork tab and had all as much information as possible filled out I'm a big fan of due dates and so again, let me just one last time go back over to classes. You can see here all the due dates. So for this particular course, everything is due tomorrow. Now let's move over to a student's view. So I have a student's view, a student that's in this professional development course here, the digital citizen. And here's a student's view. They, because they are a student and not a teacher in any of the classes, they don't have a to review option, they have a to do option. So when I select the to do option, you can see um, a few different filters. You can see what has been assigned, what's missing, what's been completed. Um, always looking for a view all in case things are hidden. So here you can see that all of these assignments are due tomorrow. So Nothing yet is currently missing. Well, this is, I guess, an older classroom. So let me, yeah, so here we go. Um, and same thing, how else can you get to this information? If you go right into your class that you're a student in, you can select the view all. And here it looks different than the teachers. You'll remember that the teacher had a ticker of who had turned it in who had not yet 
turned in the assignment and who whose assignment has been returned. So you had a ticker, but here, because it's individualized for the student, it will list all of the assignments in the assignments status. So here, this assignment has not only been turned in, but graded and returned. This has been assigned, nothing has been done, graded and returned. This assignment has been turned in, but it has not yet been graded and returned. This assignment's been turned in, but it was turned in late, all right? So again, if I was the student and I'm looking at um, what's missing, right? What's beyond the deadline, nothing, because everything is due tomorrow. So this student is still in okay shape. What's been returned and, and how did the student do if you choose to use the um, gradebook feature? And again, in an earlier, um, tutorial, I, I spoke that at the high school level, I personally use the Aspen gradebook. So my students would not see a grade here because I use the Aspen gradebook. And then I, the student can also look at what's what's assigned, what still needs to be completed. And so perhaps, you know, the student is ready to complete task 2A and they can again access that assignment directly from that view. So again, you have two options to access that information, the to do option, as well as the individual view all. And of course, there's always the long way where you can just work yourself, work your way through all of the assignments in the classwork tab. So lots of options to help with organization and um, staying on top of the work that has been assigned and staying on top of the work as a teacher of what needs to be looked at. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.